Uh, number one, I think Flint is uh, an interesting example of what happens when we impose the filter of politics uh, over the management of human health, uh, safety, welfare, uh, governance, and our uh, uh, well-being. It also shows how politics, uh, coupled with money and budgetary issue, impairs perhaps the ability to see what is right. I think thirdly, it also shows the power and outcome associated with silence. And the preservation, support, or presence of silence in our actions, our processes, in the performance uh, of our work. It also presents the issues of power and those with power versus those who do not have power in the management of their vital uh, lives, uh, their public health, safety, welfare, uh, their well-being, their education, and their ability to live their lives in an effective uh, f uh, fashion. I think as we get into the issue, we're going to see uh, what those impacts have been in terms of choices, the accountabilities that have been imposed, and the importance ultimately of truth uh, to power, and the importance of science and evidence still, uh, and uh, the criticality of that in providing truth to power. The other interesting thing I'd observe is, is many of the sources of the problems that were created <coughs> were driven particularly by an inordinate reliance on the law, an ordinance re uh, inordinate uh, re uh, focus on money and issues related to budget, and also, interestingly, more truth to power was being spoken in the situation as it evolved by women than necessarily the men involved in the fulfillment of vital functions uh, in Flint, and particularly in the medical and the professional side. The number one source of public trust in the country today is the public health sector. Uh, in our country, it's the public health sector. But you'll see as we uh, develop our discussion and review, uh, that sector was uh, uh, delayed. That sector was held back. Uh, their recommendations were not given full countenance uh, in support. And ultimately, I think we're going to see the important gravity of choices and hard choices uh, that we face and the escalation of those ahead and the critical role that you're going to play in managing the challenges of trade-offs and the compelling questions of trade-offs as the challenges increase, the complexities escalate, the ability to raise money or capital to address the job is limited or constrained with the passage of time, and the critical role that you're going to play in your training in terms of framing those choices, communicating them effectively, and managing the challenges or issues of trade-offs uh, uh, looking ahead. 